because those months were consumed would I be productive. First five months of last year, Chairman, we end one trillion four hundred one trillion eight hundred and forty seven billion as a country revenue. And we service our debts with one trillion eight hundred and two. So we are left only forty five billion thousand months. Last year we decided we are going to borrow only four trillion. The federal government ended up borrowing six point so five trillion. This year the approved budget shows 17 trillion and we are going to borrow only seven. So far, our revenue progression, we will not make 50% of that revenue, which means we are going to borrow about 10 trillion. We are using 98% like of our revenue to service debt. By the end of this year, Chairman will use over 100% to. We are not borrowing to service debt. In the past one year, we've not put any money aside where we're supposed to put money to pay for those loans. The sinking fund has already said they need money. Chairman, I can go on and off. We cannot continue like this. We have no other country except this one. And there's nothing left. The country is not just broke. The country has a problem. And the problem is that it's not productive. You have the highest unemployment. Anybody, a country of our size can think of. That's 3.5%. If you combine the unemployment, we have over 55%. What is worse? In this, is 60% is our young people who are the greatest productive assets and in their age of production. Which means when they get to your age, you don't have anything to fall back on. Chairman, they meet everybody alive. Because today you're sitting here because you have talent. But the younger ones are not doing anything. They're not producing anything today. So when they get to your age, there will be any country. So we have a crisis. The country is not productive. Every day you say, you hear government say, they have a revenue problem, not a borrowing problem. We have a revenue problem because your people are poor. Poor people cannot pay tax. They are not going to create money. They are looking for money to eat. So you cannot go to them and say, come and pay you tax. Tax is the function of production. And the country is not productive. And we have to make this country productive. It is simple. Chairman, the next election, we are not going to be electing a president who will be looking at this country. I told the National Assembly yesterday, there's nothing to share again. We're not looking for those who share what we have. We want wealth creators. And I'm asking, as a part, let us go and look at people's background. Where are they coming from? What have they been able to do in the past 30 years to create wealth? And it's really I like what the person said about me when he was talking. But basically, my background is that I'm a trainer. That's what I do. And I do it every day. I believe in it. Yes, it's taking me where I've got the height of training. I've also got the height of public cooperation, including being chairman of SEC. Even when I said the SEC is not work, not doing their job very well. Uh, capital market work because our capital market is so shallow where we are not even worth five percent of South Africa capital market and we're the biggest economy. And I've been a government. We have managed public money. The problem of Nigeria is that we need people who have trust on how to manage public money. And that's what we need, so we can invest in properly. I just came back from Morocco. After I traveled to that white countries, asking a question, what is wrong with Nigeria? Morocco is doing well to be celebrated in Africa. Morocco is 
going. Everybody is going. Everybody is borrowing money. Morocco's debt to GDP is about 80%. But, Chairman, if you go to Morocco, I drew from the capital Rabat to the airport 300 kilometers. I didn't see one police on the road. There was no hold on. That port is the biggest port in Africa, doing three times what all the Nigerian ports do to combine. For the three hours I was there, I could see how it goes to build. They go more than Nigeria. But that is not a problem. Chairman, I've been to Bangladesh in 2010. That's where I was from. And I spent one week. And I always use this country because they are countries of big population. I don't want to start referring us to Singapore and no. all. These are countries of big population. Chairman, when I was in Singapore in 2010, Singapore was owing $45 billion on a GDP of $415,000. And their per capita was just seven one, a little bit about $700. In 2010, Nigerian GDP was three seventy five, and our per capita was two hundred and twenty five, two hundred, two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. Today, Nigerian today Nigerian GDP is four hundred, our per capita is two thousand. So we lost ten percent of where we are in 2010. In 2010, our debt was just about 20% of what it is today. Today we are owing 100, about $100 billion. The last PDP government in 2008 cleared all our dollar debts. I was remaining on this domestic debt. Today our dollar debt is hitting about $50 billion. And all these debts is excluding the way that means, which if you add it, will be owing about $120 billion without anything to show for it. Chairman is a crisis situation. And PDP is in position to help to elect a competent person that can start solving this problem. Because if we get it wrong, we run the country. Anybody will tell you, they tell you, oh, America said the country will do this, do that, and it's still standing. It's standing because a, a big ship, when it's sinking, takes time. We are sinking. We don't have what it takes to do as a country to exist. Even our so-called reserve cannot support our import for six months. There's a threshold which we are allowed to keep. So we have a crisis situation. So my plea is that whatever you and your team is doing, let us ensure that we get it right. But I thank you people for the wonderful work. Mine is that we cannot be with our children anarchy. Which is where we are now. We are within our children anarchy. It is not about somebody who is going to come next to be the president and answer Mr. President, but somebody who who will start creating wealth and making the country productive from day one. Once again, I thank you for this audience. Thank you.